Uh, hello friends, today I'm going to show you how you can create beautiful carousel effect in jQuery uh, using a few lines of code. Okay, so for that I'm going to need some images and a jQuery library obviously. Okay, so let me show you an example of the jQuery carousel. It's like this. See, after a few interval of seconds the images are being getting swapped uh, and it gives us a beautiful uh, image uh, rolling effect uh, that's what we call as carousel so uh, we'll learn how we can create this effect in jQuery okay so for that I'm gonna need some images obviously and a jQuery library so I've created the images folder and the jQuery library on the desktop itself and for the convenience I've uh, numbered the images for the uh, easy recognition of the images number images name sorry okay so uh, let's start away with the tutorial uh, I'll open the dream view new and HTML page create just name the title as carousel okay, so in the body you're gonna create a div tag with ID name, any ID you want to give as per your choice. Inside that div, create another ID named carousel. That's okay. Now, inside this carousel, you're gonna uh, make a list, an unordered list. So, for that, you'll write you will and close it here. Now, uh, what would the list? Uh, consist of it will consist of the images that we want our carousel to roll so for that I'll write list item say image src browse okay my images are here at the desktop the convenience you can uh, store it anywhere in any directory you want to like okay 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 so first save this file so that it would be easier for dreamweaver to um, consider the paths save this file on the desktop with name carousel just do it once browse one see it's a very easy path doesn't look uh, much difficult just repeat this line of code with as many images you want to have see I have six images so I'll write it for six times only no more than that fine just watch out with the extensions of the file okay so uh, let's run it let's see how does it look like in the browser so I'll preview it in the Chrome and let's see see uh, what is being done is the images are inserted images are uh, okay fine they are fine they have been inserted in a list an unordered list and uh, as you can see the bullets are also inserted in front of the every list item so we don't want any bullets to be inserted and what we want is we want our images to be um, like they uh, they should flow towards the left so uh, uh, I want to do some apply some CSS in this so okay in the head section let's write some CSS now in order to uh, make our code look more good text slash CSS then close it here sorry close it here for the very first line write star will I do this thing for all my web pages. Sorry. Um, margin zero. For the body, give any CSS. And this color is fine. Okay, then uh, let's jump on to the main ID. 
give it a margin of 150 pixel and auto so that uh, it gets inserted anywhere on the page in the center of the page that looks like uh, that looks nice okay after that write um, okay like padding give a padding of 10 pixels then give a shadow shadow of uh, black color to this id that gives a nice effect okay let's come to the carousel then carousel okay i want my carousel width to be 600 pixel and height to be 300 pixel now you should stick to these width and height throughout the code in the further lines of the page so inside the carousel what we have is uh, un an unordered list a ul so uh, we'll, we have written carousel space ul that stand for the unordered list inside the carousel here so uh, as we saw that uh, in front of every list item bullets were inserted so we don't want any bullets to be inserted in front of every list item so for that we'll write list style none that would remove all the bullets in front of every list item here the list items are our images right okay now uh, let's do some css for the list items so i want my list items to float towards the left so that they cling towards each other in the left side okay that's fine oh i'm sorry i'll copy this and paste this everywhere carousel ulli image tag then write with height okay now let's run our code problem is there oh sorry I haven't set the code for uh, the width and height for the main ID and uh, I want my UL to have overflow I'm sorry my carousel div to have an overflow of hidden See, the images have been inserted they have been stacked you know uh, this image of parachute has the number one so uh, the next image that is the third 3 dot jpeg has been inserted uh, behind it so you can see as we have set the uh, as we have set the overflow to hidden in the carousel, uh, carousel CSS so uh, one more thing uh, we're gonna uh, in the UL uh, in the carousel space you will you you're gonna write the width as 600 multiplied by the number of images you have inserted in your code so uh, we have 600 into 6 that stands for 36 so we'll have a width of 3600 so that uh, all the uh, all the images could be accommodated in a horizontal line to be stabbed in a horizontal line so for that we have written 600 multiplied by the 600 pixel for each image so we have six images so uh, you know we, uh, we have figured out it to be a 3600 pixel so as we set the carousel overflow hidden so uh, we won't see any um, extra images now let's move uh, okay let's remove this one so what we'll get is like something like this the images are inserted stacked to one another in a horizontal fashion so uh, what do we need it's kind of film strip you know film, uh, film strip so uh, we want our images to slide towards the left and uh, after sliding we want our first images first image that is the parachute image to uh, cling to the last image right uh, behind this photoshop image so for that we are going to write some code in the jquery 
okay so is this clear so we'll write some code here in jquery so for jquery you're gonna need a jquery library obviously just write script type text slash javascript space src equals to browse okay we have our jquery right here yeah close this tab again write script type is equals to document.ready is pretty understandable uh, by you people if you are aware with the jquery uh, it says that uh, till the moment the jquery has finished loading the page the following uh, the thing that i'm gonna write inside this particular line of code should have so uh, i'm gonna focus on my carousel so that i'll write carousel ul dot animate i want my carousel you will to animate towards the left by by how many pixels by minus 600 pixels right and how long uh, i want this to last this thing to last okay for two seconds say two seconds now uh, it takes a parameter as milliseconds so i have written 2000 that's right for two 2000 milliseconds or two seconds comma here I require a callback function. Callback function is the one which is uh, executed once the previous one has been executed. See, uh, before, after the jQuery has finished loading this line, it will call this function that I'm gonna write right here. So what do I want? Once it been, uh, once the first images has has been shifted towards the left. I want my parachute image, my first image to cling to the last image. So for that I'm gonna write hash carousel ul or simply write, you can write this because we are referring to the same element this dot uh, write this dot find actually uh, find function is used to uh, you know find the child elements inside the particular element so we want our image to be inserted uh, after the last element so first we are going to need to find the last element of the uh, images inside the ul so after after that dot after we want our first element to be inserted so we'll again write this dot find our first element that wherever the first element is it should get inserted after the last element and after that i'll write this dot css margin left zero now i want this line this piece of code to to be repeated after uh, after every after every uh, you know say uh, four or five seconds so i want it to be repeated after a particular interval of time simultaneously for in uh, it's kind of infinite loop so for that we uh, have a function named set interval in jquery which repeats the given line of code after a particular interval of time see i want my code to be uh, repeated after say four seconds so i'll write 4000 here and it'll repeat the given line of code to four seconds and the transition will take a timing of two seconds that is uh, the time taken by the image to shift towards the left would be uh, elapsed in two seconds okay so let's see it one second. f5 oh i'm sorry let's see it like this only see you can see here the parachute image has been inserted towards the uh, right the last image now this time the last image is this one so this images have also been inserted so this is how you can make a carousel effect so okay 
let's set the over, overflow property to hidden see it's a beautiful carousel effect uh, that has been made by writing a few lines of code in jQuery and using a bit of CSS and HTML as well. So if you have any problem regarding the same, uh, you can give a comment. I'll be there to help you. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe the channel.